even talk about the, the the iconic line in in Let's Dance, but an equally iconic line, which was a huge hit and such a departure from the original, was your bass part on China Girl. Yeah. Now that's 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 a that's actually a really good story. Um, the day before, or a couple of days before, I heard under my thumb. Ah, okay. And from the, the mono radio that I had in, in my grandma's room, um, I heard xylophone. Right, right. Is it xylophone or is it a vibe? Marimba. Yeah, marimba or vibes or something. And it was Brian Jones playing it, going, "What? The, what is that?" Da 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 da. Boom, 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 That's da, the da, hook da. in the song. Yeah. yeah, the hook of the song, and I'm going, wow, I never, I, I maybe just bypassed it, but it stuck out to me, and it stayed in my head, so it, it swam in the, you know, back in the brain somewhere, and when we were working on China Girl, which I never heard the original, the pop song. It's a punky, um, it's a punky song on the original. Yeah, it's a great, it's, later on, it's a great song. I'm thinking, those chord changes, E minor, D, C, it's the same changes as under my thumb, but. Yeah, they're, wow. They're, they're, they're uh, I think they're um, um, two bars instead of one bar each. Yeah. Under my thumb, one bar each. One bar, one bar change. Right, right, right. One bar. Yeah, one bar. And China yeah, goes yeah. two bar change. Right. So it's a F sharp to E. Right. So right. What, 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 so, so China girl would be, you know, E minor. Four strings, David. Four strings. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have one of those. <laughs> So the China girl was, you know, E minor, the chorus would be E minor D C. Right, so, right. Same, again, same, yeah. And the difference was uh, the bars. So I'm thinking, what was that melody? I keep hearing a melody. It's the same chord changes as under my thumb, going, how did what was that change? So I couldn't I couldn't find it. So I just went to like a childlike Ronnie. Ba da 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 ba da 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 ba ba ba. And that came up that line, and then right away you could hear David and I go. Whoa, wait a minute. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I shouldn't have played that, you know. And David goes, do, do that again. You know, play, play, play it again. But, um, yeah, so I just came up with a childlike rhyme uh, influenced by the Brian Jones lick. That, that, that's how, that, you know, however that works in your head. Yeah. Um, I was hearing the same chord changes, trying to figure out what he was doing on the marimba or vibe he was playing. Yeah, because I think Wyman, Wyman and, and, and Brian Jones are almost playing in unison, kind of, in that. Yeah, kind of, yes. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a great line because it, it was a, like a lead line, but never expected that bass line to be the lead line for China Girl. You know, he just picked up the vibe or the marimba that day. Oh, no way. Yeah. He, uh, there's stories that Brian would go into recording sessions and pick something up and start playing it. This he's, he's, I mean, he would play everything pretty much, you know, yeah. the sitar stuff. I mean, what a what a great asset to have in a band. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.